surprised many Idahoans when he vetoed a widely supported bill this week involving Idaho's wrongfully convicted. It's one that we've been following closely for you tonight. Our Madeline White speaks to Christopher Tapp, the exonerated Idaho Falls man who inspired this piece of legislation. As we previously reported, Christopher Tapp served 20 years in prison for the 1996 rape and murder of Idaho Falls teen Angie Dodge, but was later exonerated and released when DNA evidence ruled him out, instead pointing to a new suspect who currently awaits his trial behind bars. I caught up with Tapp this week after the news from the governor's office. When I first heard the news, it was devastating, heartbreaking. It Tap thought this would be the moment where people from the state would finally hear what he had to say. Well, that's what we wanted for all the years while we were wrongfully convicted in prison was just to be heard. But on Monday, Governor Little vetoed House Bill 384. We're all just kind of in shock, just really surprised. Even after it had received widespread bipartisan support from lawmakers throughout the legislative session. I uh, really didn't see this coming on the radar. I thought we were pretty clear sailing and since we had such uh, large support for this bill in the legislature. Idaho is one of just 15 states in the country that offers no compensation to the wrongfully convicted once they've been released. This bill would have given TAP $60,000 a year for each of his 20 years incarcerated. We worked on this very hard, uh, had a lot of help from a lot of people. Nobody really had an issue. We fixed all the wording the AG had an issue with. The governor says these were his issues with the bill. We're not talking about a whole host of people here. We were talking about a very narrow scope. There are only four Idahoans that would have been eligible for this compensation, but Tapp says the support that he did receive from legislators and citizens alike in this session is what's giving him hope for the future. It was truly different. It was truly amazing to have that feeling to to be known that somebody wanted to hear you. Governor Little concluded his veto statement by writing that he admires the intent of this bill and that he will work with the sponsors to, quote, hopefully rectify these issues to produce a bill that creates an acceptable process for quickly compensating the wrongfully convicted, end quote. Madeline White, six on your side.